Hello everybody and welcome back. Last time we went back to Metabot Island and we also spent some time with Salty. And in the process we got the three remaining parts. This time we head back to the meta shop and finally turn them in. So let's quickly make our way there. And also I mentioned last time that it is possible that Salty will not want to go on a walk and if that is the case then you will face off against Baron as you reach meta shop. Well, that happens either way, so maybe in that scenario Baron gives you the, gives you the final part, I can't really say for sure. Not bad, Icky. Not you again. If you hand over your meta parts quietly, I won't have to hurt you. You're the one who always ends up getting hurt. Here we go, it's the Baron's turn! <coughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. How dare you, making fun of the Baron again! Yeah, yeah. So, Baron fight, nothing new. Though one thing I can add, I never mentioned this, but one way to make the Baron fight slightly more bearable is to go to the title screen and set the battle duration or battle time to short. That way you should get the time out or time up uh, win faster. Anyways, nothing new here, so I'll skip this and I'll see you guys in a moment. Welcome back. I... Baron, hang on! Don't worry, it's just to my... Baron! Baron! I... I'm okay. Might as well get going. Alright. So, before we take any further steps, I do suggest that you save. And I actually... do want to rearrange a few parts. There we go. should be fine. Koji, Iki, you do me the honor of our final battle. No matter who wins or loses, I am sure to get something out of it. Are you ready? I was hoping you'd say that. So, here we have the second and final fight against Black Ram. So, nothing new here, I already showed the first one, so I'm going to skip it, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Welcome back. And nice, we got Devil R. Thanks, that was a lot of fun. You're being too polite again. <laughs> Let's go to the meeting place. Alright, before we go up there, one thing that I never mentioned, if you talk to the clerk right here. Would you like to hear about the parts on Rally Meta Parts? She will in fact give you slightly more information about the parts, such as the name of the metabots that they, well, create. So let's say yes. Angel type metabot, wonder angel. Head metapart, cherub body, right arm metapart, cherub hand. Yeah, we've seen all this. Shrimp type metabot, mega emperor, we already know about that. And finally, devil type metabot, bell cell guts. So, I will be giving a more thorough overview of those in a moment. Now, before you go up the stairs, you want to make sure that you don't have any of the parts on Rally Parts equipped, because you do have to turn them in. And I also want to rearrange a few parts, because we do have an upcoming fight. There we go. I also suggest that you equip some cancel parts. In this case, I'm just going to equip any Moai parts, just to be safe. Come on, where is it? There we go. And we might as well equip Devil Arm, since we just got it. There we go, that should do it. Alright, here we go. Congratulations, Siki! You've done very well! I expected nothing less. 
Well, I, uh, you really think so? <laughs> the award ceremony is starting. First things first, go take a seat, please. Okay. I just need to check all the meta parts, so I'll hold on to them for you. So yeah, we have to give back all the parts. The one who has successfully collected all the parts is... Iki Tenryo! Woo! Wow! And now for the awards ceremony! What the? <laughs> thank you, thank you. You call them... You've all gone to so much trouble for me. Who are you? <laughs> My name is Shirata. I'm like the real boss of this game. I'm at the same level as a king, because I created this game. You're no longer needed. Come and accept the punishment from me. What the heck is he saying? He might have hit his head somewhere. Iki, bit some sense into him. Oh, you would stand against the king? <laughs> I am a god here. Alright, so Shiratama, the god of this game. So, for this fight, I think yeah, they should do. So, as for his metabots. Mega Emperor. The only thing I can really say at this point is that this Mega Emperor has the bare metal, meaning that it has access to gravity form, absorb gravity, and maybe leg crush. Up next, we have Wonder Angel. So, Wonder Angel, this is pretty much a purely support metabot. The head part, chair body, has the force drain ability, and both arms have the. One of the arms has the recovery ability, and chair of arm has the repair ability. And you may notice that both of these have the chain arrow which makes Wonder Angel, Wonder Angel one of the few metabots that can actually repair more than one part at a time. Aside from that, it is an air-type metabot, and it has the Angel metal, meaning that it has access to crazy metaphors, metaphors up and maybe power up. So Wonder Angel, as you can see, it is rather frail, and by far its biggest weakness is the fact that it is an air-type metabot. As you'll see soon enough, pretty much any decent and anti-air attack can destroy it. Also, if you play through the game and if you have successfully completed the Mystery Metal Quest, this is not the first time that you've seen Wonder Angel. They were in the background of the Karen picture, holding trumpets. Anyways, moving on to the next metabot, Belselga. So Belselga, it is rather interesting. You can see that it is quite frail having only 15 in both arms. However, that is by design. It has the sacrifice ability, meaning that you're meant to destroy it, it, is, it is meant to destroy its own arms in order to deal a massive amount of damage. 61 chain damage and 92 is nothing to scoff at. And also, the head part, it has the repair ability and it has chain damage, meaning that Belselga can quite easily restore both arms at once. Aside from that, it is a two-legged and it has the devil metal, meaning that it has access to destroyer, structureless and maybe full body radiation. So, Belselga will be a real tough opponent if the enemy actually had maybe an Armor Paradin or a Mega Fan. Any metabot that could stand in the way and, pre and protect Belselga, but it doesn't. So, this fight isn't really that tough. So, strategy. I'm going to pretty much... We're going to leave Wonder Angel to Noctobat, so I'll try to deal some damage to anybody else with Meta B. Noctobat should be able to knock down Wonder Angel at once. And I'm going to use one scout and then continue on with either Devil Arm or Flex or Sword. And after that, Belselga will probably fall down fairly quickly. So I'm going to speed this fight and I'll see you guys in a moment.
And welcome back. How can a god lose in his own world? So get some EXP, and I didn't mention this, but uh, the Mega Emperor, Wonder Angel, and Belselga, all three of them started the fight with a full Metaphors gauge. In fact, you can see that the Mega Emperor, I think, used Absorb Bomb twice. But yeah, nothing to really worry about. Ow, 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 ow! Little weak for a king. Sorry, everyone. Come on, back we go, Shiratama. Whoa! I just wanted to have some scream time. Jeez. Getting back on track. Let's continue on with the award. Ahem. <clears throat> Iki, I honor your astounding achievement. In addition to that, we give you a surprise medal as a prize for being the champion. And we got the surprise medal. So I'll go into more detail about the medal in a moment. We hope that you continue to enjoy the world of Metabots. Thank you very much. We also would like to apologize for the inconvenience you had to deal with before. Please accept these meta parts that he took from you. So yeah, you do get to keep the parts, thankfully. What's up, Erika? Hey, um, Iki, um, I'll tell you later. What? Nothing. See you later, okay? What might that be? Alright, before we go check up on Erika, let's quickly go over the surprise medal. So, the surprise medal. It doesn't really have any attribute, meaning that it doesn't really have any compatibility bonus. It aims for interrupt parts. Now, as for attributes, it has low values in every single attribute. Moving on to Metaforces, it has access to Ultra Shot, which doesn't really need much of an introduction by this point. Up next we have Chaos, it inflicts confusion on all enemies, it requires 50 out of 80 Metaphors and it is of the Interrupt attribute. And then finally we have Life Drain, it requires 70 out of 80 Metaphors, it is of the Heal attribute and it deals damage to an enemy and then heals the user by the same amount. So yeah, a decent meld overall. So, let's go check up on Erika. So, usually if you wanted to see Erika, we would go to her house. But, she's not there. So, where is she? She's right here. Am I interrupting anything? What? Didn't you go to get your scoop? You're so mean! I came all this way just to see you! <laughs> Sorry, I'm happy. No, really. Hey, let's go somewhere. Where to? Our special place. Huh? I'm going to wait for you at our special place, so come find me. Wait, Erika? There she goes. But where is the special place she was talking about? I better go look for it. So, this special place. It can only be one place, really. Could she have meant here? This is where Erika... kissed me. What are you mumbling about? Walking here at the same time? I'm a little embarrassed. I was hoping you would come. Thank you for remembering the special place where... I... You know... Kiss you, Iki. I guess you've been... I guess you've been more embarrassed than me the whole time. Yeah, cute girls are allowed to be that way. Oh sure, now you're suddenly you're a cute girl. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. We're starting to reach Final Fantasy X levels of awkward laughter. And it doesn't stop.
Yipes! Erica, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's up? Hey, look at this! What? It's a metal! What's it doing? Don't you think it's romantic, Kiki? Take this as a memento of this day. Can I really... Is this the one that rolled out of the warehouse? It's gotta be a gift from heaven! And we finally get the catman. So, as I was looking up how to properly do the side quests for Erika and Karen, I stumbled upon a YouTube video that pretty much showed everything, and at the end, the guy actually renamed the medals after each of the girls. And I actually think that's actually rather cute, so I think I'm going to do that as well. There we go. <laughs> so, shall we go back? What? Already? While I'm here with you, there's still a scoop waiting for me. You really never change, will you, Eric? Well, and that is the conclusion of the cat metal quest. However, we're still missing the mystery metal, so I'm going to quickly switch over to right after we defeated Shiratama in the Rokusho version. I'll see you guys in a moment. Welcome back. So I'm just going to quickly mash through this until we get to the carrying section. Hmm. What, Koji? You're creeping me out. Karen wants to see you. You better go to her house. I've done my duty. Bye. What might that be? So we don't even really get to talk to Karen as much as Koji tells us to talk to Karen. But anyways, let's make our way to her house. Good afternoon, it's Siki. Please, please, come in. And there she is. Good afternoon, Iki. How are you feeling today, Karen? I'm feeling fine, thanks for asking. I was waiting for you to come. Waiting for me? I thought it would be nice if you could join my father and myself for a meal at a restaurant. By restaurant, do you mean the best one in town? So, will you come with me? Of course. Really, I'm happy. My father's work is almost over. I'm going to call him to meet him at the restaurant. So, shall we go? Alright, let's go. So, the restaurant is this one. The one that I mentioned that it is entirely possible to go through an entire playthrough without ever setting foot inside. Um, excuse me. Are you with the June, my party? He has been waiting for you. I'll show you to your table. Please, follow me. Here is your table. Hello. Um, thank you for inviting me. Hey there, Ricky. Don't hold back. This looks so good. It's time to eat. Ah, that was great. <laughs> Karen, stop looking around. 
That's not good manners. Hurry and finish your food. Yes, father. What the? Robo? Stop! Koji and the Robo Robo Gang? I'm not just gonna let you eat for free. I haven't eaten yet. E Aha! A medal! It's mine! Stop! We got trouble! Alright, before we go and deal with the rubber robots. Karen, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine, but... Don't worry, I'll get it back for you. I don't mean that. I mean... Yes? Um, never mind. Please take care of it. So the restaurant here is pretty much an exact copy of the one in the Metabot Island. Hello, Iki. Good afternoon, Miss Karakuchi. Koji just never calms down. Alright, that's pretty much the most interesting thing to show you. So... What? The Robo Robo Gang increased? Which one of us do you think has the medal? <laughs> Koji? Mm, I don't know. Hey Iggy, which one do you think? I think... So, this one right here is the one that has the medal, but you will get the medal anyways. This one has a plastic Gorem and Haniwatim. This one has a Noctobat Gorem and Haniwatim. And if you fight this guy, you get an extra meta part aside from the one that you would normally get. And you also get the medal, so really you want to fight this one. Let's do it! So yeah, Noctobat team, nothing new. I'll see you guys in a moment. Welcome back. I'm beaten! Forgive me and I'll give you this! And we get Sweat Mantle. That is the head part for Banisher. Was the metal there? Nope. Stop! Iki. Hi, Karen. Koji never changes, does he? Sorry, somebody took your metal. It's okay, that was... Huh? Let's talk about it more at my house. Um, yeah, okay. But what about the medal? We'll talk later. As Karen said, please come to the house later. I'm sh sure, if you'll excuse me now. I'll pay by credit card. Thank you very much, sir. And there's the medal. It's a medal. No doubt it. It has to be Karen's. I gotta go bring it back to her. Now we get Karen's medal. So let's make our way back to her house. Good afternoon, it's Siki. Please, please, come in. Thank you for spending some time with me today. The pleasure was all mine. Oh, and here's your medal. I'm happy you were able to take it back. This might sound strange after you got the medal back for me and all, but would you accept it as a gift? Really? Are you sure? I wanted to give it to you from the very beginning, actually. Thanks. And... We finally get the mystery medal. Or rather... The Karen medal. I gotta give you something in return. Don't trouble yourself. Because of it, we're able to talk again. I... I guess you're right? Of course I am. Alright, that's pretty much... that pretty much wraps up the mystery medal quest. And... Honestly, if you compare them back to back, you can see that they really put more effort in the Karen side quest. You get two unique areas that otherwise you don't even really explore in the Erika uh, side quest. You get the haunted house and the restaurant, even if it is pretty much an exact copy from the one in Metabot Island, but yeah. So we finish up the parts on Rally and we got the cat and mystery medals. Next time 
there are a few things that I haven't shown you yet, so we will wrap up the series and end it there. See you guys!